Hi there, fellow travelers. This is Matt from William Henry coming at you one more time with another peek behind the curtain at the William Henry studio. Uh, and for this week's segment, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about our use of gemstone grade, super hard uh, natural stone materials in our limited edition pocket knives. Uh, the how, the where, the why of uh, this particular facet of our artistry. So about eight years ago, uh, somebody uh, came up to our uh, booth at a trade show. We were exhibiting at a jewelry trade show and uh, he had an exhibitor badge as well. So he was visiting from another exhibitor and he said, Hey, I really, I really admire your work. It's beautiful stuff. And um, thank you very much. And what do you do? And, uh, and he showed us what he did <laughs> and uh, sort of the, you know, it's like, uh, you know, somebody, the wrong person walking into a bar and the, the music stops. It was sort of one of those moments, but in a good way, um, uh, we were floored by what he showed us. And we were immediately fans of his work too. His name is Bernd Stefan. Um, he is out, uh, his company is based in Germany <clears throat> and what he does and what we were immediately intrigued by is he has developed the company name is Herbert Stefan. Um, and he is uh, one of the principals there. They have adapted a variety of different modern technologies to be able to cut with remarkable precision all grades of gemstones and gemstone grade material, but not only cut the material, also deep relief carve it um, with just extraordinary beauty and, and, and precision and artistry, sort of this, this great mix of... Um, of sort of the raw art, but also how that art is then applied um, and rendered on these really difficult materials, um, agate, jade, and all kinds of other gemstones that they work with. So we were, again, immediately impressed. And, and I'm always looking for, William Henry, we're always looking for um, really cool techniques out there in the world that we don't know how to do. But man, could we bring those onto the William Henry canvas? Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, so we spent about a year going back and forth with, with Bernd and his team in Germany to figure out how to work into what they're capable of doing and what our needs were for them to be able to create really precision parts, but beautiful parts for William Henry. Um, and after about a year, uh, they'd actually figured it out. We had a, you know, a few false starts and, um, and our, our, our particular mechanical challenges and precision requirements are, are very, um, they're very precise, um, in order to be able to build what we built. So, and, and sort of hit the levels that we want to hit with it. Uh, but after a year, we we're able to do it. And in your intervening years, um, his company has produced a, a remarkable range of, of limited edition, short run, uh, scales and inlays for our knife handles, including materials like jade, which is sourced from the Far East, really premium jade that then goes to Germany and they're cutting and uh, doing a semi-polish on that or in some cases cutting and fully sort of engraving or carving that jade with various motifs like dragons and other things. Um, the plain jade, the sort of simple finished jade, we use as a base for um, makie, which is a traditional Japanese uh, decorating technique which translates into sprinkled picture. Um, using different carrots of gold dust and lacquers and various things. So, so you've got jade from the Far East, then going to, uh, to Germany uh, to be processed to our specifications, then coming to us to be built into a pre-finished knife, then being taken back apart and just that jade coming out of a pre-finished knife, then going to Japan to this master artist for Makie and finally coming back to us to build a finished piece. It's quite a dance. Um, but the other thing that they do for us um, that's certainly the most striking right out of the gate is they do this banded agate. So they get really premium Brazilian brand, banded agate and in-house they dye uh, just the top layer, just the top band of this agate. How they do it, I, I don't know. This is why I love finding people like this is their level of expertise and knowledge in, the, in, their, in their arena just far exceeds anything I would ever hope to learn and we can just benefit from that um, and bring that to you. So they dye, they, the, the, the bottom layer is a near white, but they dye the top layer very dark. And it's just one piece of banded agate. And as they carve or engrave down into that, 
um, and get closer to that bottom layer, the colors reveal in like hues and shades and it's just exquisite. So the three dimensionality of the of the engraving or carving that's being done is really highlighted and brought to life by these two tones of color moving through each other and sort of revealing against one each other. So uh, in terms of the, the actual process at this point, once we've gone through the learning curve, we have the privilege of working with one of their uh, principal in-house artists whose name is Anya. And she develops the original artwork in collaboration with William Henry for the uh, carving to be done on the banded agate or the jade. And then that original artwork is hand carved into a steel master, a sort of a reverse, a negative image of the artwork into a steel master, which is heat treated. And then under a mensch presser, that steel is pressed into copper to create, I don't, I don't understand all this, I apologize, but it's almost like a copper electrode, a perfect rendition of the artwork. And through this technology application that they've developed, they're able to use that copper piece to ultrasonically carve, you know, to very precise depths, that remarkable detail down into jade or agate or these other materials that are near sapphire on the hardness scale. Uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful work. Um, it's not high volume or high production, it takes a long time, but the work is exquisite. And it's in, again, it's in this range of material that's so difficult to work with and within the mechanical constraints that William Henry needs to be able to do this. So Anya's artwork through to the original engraved master all the way through to the finished piece in agate or jade or carnelian or other materials that we played with Peter's site is just spectacular. And, um, and this is William Henry, you know, it's William Henry. It's, made in the USA, sourced from planet Earth proudly. Um, and it's a privilege to be able to work with Bernd, Stefan, um, and, the, and his company, um, and to be able to bring this remarkable artistry um, to you on whatever the next William Henry is that might catch your fancy uh, that features this extraordinary work. So thank you, and have a great week.